So I come to tell you he's alive, to tell you that he dries every tear that falls. Hey there folks, my name is Will Allen. Many of you who are watching this video know me as the song leader at Friendship. I'm also the young adult Sunday school class teacher. And I'm also the self-proclaimed thorn in the flesh of the preacher. Uh, just because I love to give him a hard time, love to keep him on his toes. You know, you got to have fun. But anyway, today uh, I was wanting to share a little bit of what's on my heart. Something that I've been meditating on for the past few weeks, even months. Something that's just been in the back of my head after my scripture reading. Something that's just been back there lingering. And the Lord's just been adding to it. But that verse that has been on my heart is, is Acts chapter 15 and verse 4. When Paul and Barnabas are standing before the apostles at Jerusalem. And they declared all things that God had done with them. And when I read that, it convicts me. Because I think, what has God done with me? God could do so much more with me as long as I'm a willing vessel to be used of him and that's something we all Christ, all of us Christians should want to do. We should all want to be used of God. Because if you're used of God, that means you have done something for God in this life. Uh, of course, we know Jesus gave us the Great Commission. He wants us to reach and teach all nations. Uh, and if you're going to be used of God, that means that you have reached and taught all nations, or as many nations as you can get to. You look at Paul's life, you see how Paul was used mightily of God. And you say, Will, there's no way, there's no way on this earth that I could be used as, as God used Paul. I've done too much wrong in this life. I've sinned too much. But the thing is, is Paul was once Saul of Tarsus. He was a murderer. He was a killer. He was a hitman of the Jews. He murdered countless Christians because of their faith. But on the Damascus Road, Paul was gloriously saved, uh, and he became one of the greatest used men this world has ever seen. Paul is definitely a hero in the faith to me. We see that uh, God can use anyone who is willing, and no matter what you've done in your life, no matter what your past is, God can use you, and he wants to use you. Uh, it is kind of a crazy thought that the creator of this universe, the one that created every tree, every blade of grass that you've ever seen in your entire life, wants to use you. I think of John Harper. John Harper was a preacher. He was on his way from Europe to Chicago. He was going to be the preacher or the new pastor of the, the Moody Church. And he was on the Titanic in 1912. And we know what happened to the Titanic. It sank in the North Atlantic. And he didn't make it on a lifeboat. He was in the water, but he didn't give up. He didn't say, oh me, I'm just going to go ahead and die and, and, and just end this life. He thought there's things I can still do for God. Even though I'm in this water and I may not make it, there's still things I can do for God. And he was proclaiming the gospel right there in those chilly waters. He was yelling to anybody who wanted to hear, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There was one man who denied him. He wouldn't believe him, who didn't want any part of the gospel. But John Harper didn't give up and he kept on that man. And that man eventually was saved. And the man accepted Jesus Christ there in those chilly waters. John Harper didn't make it that night. John Harper died that night. But the man who accepted Christ that night did survive. Years later, they had a reunion of the survivors. And the man stood up and said, I'm thankful for John Harper, thankful for his life, what God did with him, because I was the last convert of John Harper. He didn't give up on me. And the thing is, is God won't give up on you either. Uh, God wants to use you. So I'm coming to you tonight or this today and say, God wants to use you. Be used of God.